Hi everyone, welcome back to Soul's Journey and today I am doing a VR to Summer at Astaria Sen and V at V Love and Crystals of Fairy, Tarot and Oracle decks and I don't think I have enough to really make them two separate videos so I'm going to try to do them all in one and I've totally forgotten my phone to set a timer so I'll be right back. Okay, we are ready to rock and roll here. So, first one I'm going to start off with is the Shadowscapes Tarot by Stephanie Law. And I got the, the book and deck set. It comes with this very large, lovely book. It's black and white and it's, it's fairly chunky. So, that's very nice. and. This is such, oh my god, the artwork in this is just so beautiful. My only regret about this deck, although it has its good points and bad points, is that um, the cards are not larger. But at the same time, if they're really big, then they're hard to handle and nobody likes that either. This is, oh my god, I love this card, the world. It's so gorgeous. So, let's see. Next up is the Mystic Fairy Tarot. This is the first edition that came out in this box. Um, I think some things about it have changed now. I'm not sure. Again, book by Barbara Moore. And instead of the, oh, well, I guess, I guess you could use this. I guess these things were intended to be a box for the cards, but they're so oversized. I don't quite get that. There's the backs. Um, this is such a popular pose in so many decks now, and I see this in so many for like the Empress card. I think a lot. It's very strange. They must all be using like the same model or something. So pretty. And on to the next. Okay, so this one's kind of a twofer because initially the Mythical Creatures from Baba Studio came out as a black and white limited edition. And they sent it in this gorgeous wooden box. So, and in a bag, one of their lovely bags. So here is the black and white version, which is large. It is quite large. It is not a standard set. Um, get them out of here. So like here's, this is the, the standard size of the new, the colored. Let's see if we can see it this way better maybe. Oh, here. Oops. So it, it's not huge, huge, but it's a little bit larger than the standard size deck. And then King of, it's so cool though. You know what, and I totally forgot this when I did my black and white decks video. Darn it. Oh well. So for comparison's sake, let's 
see if I can find. Oh, maybe not. I was going to try to put the two magicians side by side. So here's the justice. And I'm, I'm considering these Fey decks because all the mythical creatures to me kind of, I think, count as Fey. You know, that the supernatural world. And this guy is definitely, um, let me see if I can remember what his name is. I can't. Let me look it up real quick. I'm a Dan Moore. Um, or Amadan Dove, the Dark Fool, Black Fool, or Fairy Fool, a fairy trickster, one of the underworld she of Ireland. So that's who he's supposed to be. <sighs> okay. This is just, you know, such a beautiful deck. It is pips, but oh, here we go. Here's the magician. Take a look at those side by side, just for comparison's sake. That's pretty spectacular. Once again, the light in here is not the greatest, even though it's a sunny day outside and I'm close to the window. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, I'll put those aside and I'll be right back. Okay, and then I have the indie version that was published by Adam McLean many years ago of the Tarot of the She by Emily Carding. Now this was a, a very limited edition. It was a limited run of 100 decks. And I have copy number 90. Little information card about it here. I don't know if you can read that. Um, so this is a majors only version, and this was the backs, very colorful. Yep. I don't think these majors changed at all from the indie version to the, the mass market edition that Schiffer put out. So that's another one. And okay, on we go. I'm going to get through decks in record time here. So this is one of my Baba Studio bags. I was talking the other day how I love this magician. This is the, the image from the magician card on the Bohemian Gothic. I just, I have so many things with this image on it. It's like sling pouch and a other pouch. And, um, so anyway, that is where I keep my Tarot of the Hidden Realms. There's my favorite devil card. This is such an extraordinary deck. I mean, there's the artwork in this is unlike really any other deck out there. Julia Jeffrey did such a stunning job. I love her style. Yeah. So, yeah, there's that one. Next up is a Kickstarter project that I backed, the Stolen Child Tarot from Monica Knighton. And she, um, oh shoot, I forgot I forgot the book for this too. Some of you guys might want to see the book. Hang on, let me grab that. Okay, so if you backed this deck and want the book, let me see, oops, wrong way. Um, this is the book. It's very large. It's like, I don't know. 12 by, oh, let me find a ruler real quick. My bad. It's, um, 
eight and a half by 11. And here's the interiors. You get little color pictures and kind of a general thing here, but some of them, I know people were having trouble reading with this deck because they didn't understand her choices for some of these cards and it just, there was nothing to connect to when you were looking at the image. It's like, well, why is this the magician? Well, clever as a fox, the magician wields all elements as tools at his command, trickster and master of improvisation. So that's her rationale for using a fox for the, um, the magician. But these images are all all very fey. Oh, here's the backs. And it is proving to be a challenge to read with. Um, because of that. But I didn't, like I said, I do have the book, so that's helping. Um, let's see, like, strength is a bison. But they all have little, like, fey, like, inside them, which is really interesting. You can see the little, like, dryads falling out of the tree that the beavers are chewing down. Again, here's the little fey. So I'm not so sure if it's supposed to be that animals are actually fey in disguise, maybe? Beautiful moon card. Uh, that was just an extra card. I do have a, a walkthrough of this when I first got it, so I won't go through too many of the cards just now. Oops, let's try to zoom in a little bit, so we don't have to keep doing that. The Crystal Visions Tarot. No, it is not wholly fey. Um, it certainly has its share of fey elements. Oops. I like the colors in this deck. I'm not often in the mood for this deck. Um, sometimes it's just a little too girly for me. But it is very pretty and there are times when I do reach for it and I just, I need this. So yeah, you can see a lot of these are like winged fairies. another one that's been out for a really long time. Well, I shouldn't say really long. I don't know. When did this come out? Anyway, I don't remember. I forget when I get some of these decks. 2011? So, eh. Then nine years ago? That's not that long ago. You know, it's not like it came out in the 60s. And goodness knows I have decks from the 60s. Okay. Now this is kind of a weird one. This is... The Merry Day Tarot by Louisa Poole. And unfortunately, the book that comes with it or came with it is like really hard to come by now. Um, so it's hard to know what her system was. It's like what these numbers indicate. Um, so this is not entirely a fey deck, but it certainly has fey elements in it, um, like the uh, the fly agaric mushrooms. Um, this guy, the hanged man, has changed to the journeyman. He's got wings on. And it has a lot of fantastical creatures in it, so I'm kind of classifying it. I think she's very fae looking. Her eyes are very otherworldly. And then down here we've got little creatures 
and whatnot. So um, here's the backs. I've actually I've got another copy of this deck. Um, if anybody is interested in a full walkthrough of this deck, because this one has been out for a while. This is copyright 1997. And if you haven't seen this and you want to, um, please say so down in the comments, and I would be very happy to do a full walkthrough of this. Okay, so now we come to the oracles. And I don't know if we can really classify these as Fay. It's the Victorian Flower Oracle from Baba Studio, and it uses the art of J.J. Granville, which they also use for their fantastic menagerie tarot, and um, is also... Oh, shoot, I forgot the... Um... Uh, hang on. Okay, I was going to say... Um... Granville's art was also used in the Isidore Tarot. Um, I've totally forgotten the creator's name. I am so lame. Oh my gosh. Although, this one is not a fey deck in that sense, I don't think. I mean, there's a lot of fantastical animals. Um, but no, not really fey. Uh, I do have a, a walkthrough of that as well, but oh, it's by Bethel and Bajima. Okay, anyway, let's get back to. So, I don't know if we want to, if you want to count this as Faye. It's, uh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. Granville's art is just stunning and I cannot wait for the new Fantastic Menagerie. I've already pre-ordered it. This sadly is out of print and I stupidly did not get the book when I had the chance and I don't think it's I don't think you can get, even get it anymore. So anyway there's that. Okay, I almost forgot about this one too. Um, this is the Fairy Tale Tarot, but it certainly has Fay in it. Um, this is also from Baba Studio, out of print. Um, okay, Sorcerer's Apprentice. These are all based on fairy tales, which aren't all. Um, like the Emperor's New Clothes is not really, kind of, that's kind of iffy, but um, the Happy Family, the Ten of Cups, the High Priestess Le Boucher, I think she was considered the founder of Prague. Um, okay, so Cinderella definitely has fairies in the story. Thumbelina. Uh, Deirdre of the Sorrows. So there are fantastical, you know, fey elements to all these. The Red Shoes, the Three Princes, so there's uh, the Nixie, the Moon, the Maiden King. Interesting. I don't even know what a lot of these stories are which is unfortunate. But, okay, so like the fairy hunt, so there's, there's Fae in it. So I guess we can, Snow White, it's the dwarves. Lovely, lovely deck. Okay, so now we come to my oracle decks, and I have far fewer of those that are Fey oriented. Um, the Oracle of Shadow and Shadows and Light by Lucy Cavendish, um, artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffith, is not all Fey, but it has a number of cards that are like, um, come on, there we go. Um, the Sea Beacon Fairy, um, all the backs. 
These are the backs. Um, the absinthe fairy. Eclipse mermaid. Kind of, I mean, she's a fantastical creature, so. Uh, mildew fairy, clean up time. Amara the Menahune, Aloha Healing. Pink Lotus Fairy. The Dried Flower Fairy. Fairy of the Green World. Grumpy Red Fairy. Fairy of the Highlands. The Mend a Broken Heart Fairy. The Lantern Fairy. Carousel Fairy. And then it's got a bunch of angels too, like Snow Angel, Angel of Time. And we've got three witchy sisters, Angel de los Muertos. So it, it's partly fae. But it's, it's a cute little deck. I read with this a lot for a while. Let's see, oh, of course, the Fairy Enchantments by Ian Daniels, who also did the Tarot of Vampires. Um, this was the Kickstarter version. I, th I don't think it's any different, though, from the one he's selling now. I don't think. I don't know, really. Um, interior of the box has this pretty wallpaper. Um, Gorgeous sigil on the back. Magic divination cards. Um, and it was designed for you to be able to craft your own spells with, the, with these cards using all the correspondences on the back. We got sigils and colors and stones, month, plants, animals. And it just it goes on and on. And you can combine these um, in any way you like. Oops or use any aspect that you need. It's just beautiful, beautiful art. So... Oops, I forgot to show is he still, I don't know, somebody let me know if you've gotten a recent copy of this. Is he still doing this rose gold edging on the cards? That was really striking. I'd never seen that before. That was the first deck I'd seen that on. And this one, I took a look through, and it's not specifically Fey, but it definitely has Fey elements in the illustrations, The Whispers of Healing by Angela Hartfield, and artwork by Josephine Wall. Um, so they're all incredibly beautiful and fantastical. Here's the backs. I just showed this recently so I won't dwell on this for too long. Um, and she's got wings on here. So it's definitely a... it's got that aspect to it. Oops. Control. Acceptance. A little bit slippery. They are shiny. But... So this one is, you know, absolutely fay. The two of them with their beautiful little gossamer wings. This artwork is just incredible. It's it's so rich and detailed. Oh, I think I included this in my hugs deck video. I, I bought this specifically at a time that I was having a really terrible time and just looking at these cards cheered me up. 
It just it gave me such a sense of peace and happiness. It's just gorgeous. I know there are other decks out with her artwork. So. Okay, just I think one left to go. And we could not leave out the Fairies Oracle by Brian Froud. Text by Jessica Macbeth. Um, I only have the one. This is the first one. I know there was a second fairy deck by them put out. Um, comes in this slipcase box and came with this really chunky hardcover book. Um, it's got the paper interior that likes to tear at the corners. So you can see. This one's not too bad. I actually, I bought this used from somebody on Amazon for like two dollars. So that might be an option if you're interested and don't have a lot of money to spend. So here's the backs. Let's go ahead and zoom in again. Come on. There we go. So this is just all fey. Oop, maybe too close. And as you can see, they are not the twee little Thumbelina sized Victorian fairies flitting around sitting on flowers. This is a much more otherworldly alien sort of take on the Fae. But I, I admit I do not read with it a lot. Um, it just, it, it, I won't say it's unapproachable, but I think you have to come to this deck with a different outlook on the Fae and the She and the good people. And, you know, they're not there to grant wishes like <laughs> um, she said in, in the movie The Labyrinth when the fairy bit her and she threw the fairy down. Um, <clears throat> It bit me, and um, Hoggle says, well, what'd you expect fairies to do? And she says, I thought they did nice things, like granting wishes. And Hoggle says, shows what you know. Uh, you know, they are a whole other race, and they're not just here to be pets for humans. And I think... Um, Approaching them with respect and in that frame of mind will serve you better than thinking they're just little decorations for your room. At least, well, that is, that is of course, just my opinion. Uh, that is that has been my relationship with the Fae. Let's just put it that way. So okay, so that one was the longest. I didn't mean to flip through so many cards. So there we go. I just got my little mermaid here, and. That is it, and I think that is all the Fae decks I own. So thanks so much for watching. If you stuck it out, and I hope this doesn't run too long, I'll try to do some editing. And, um, I will talk to you all later. Thanks so much for watching, and please like and subscribe, and blessed be.